Hi, it's Mark here, and in the following video tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through editing and managing your newsletters. And we've improved our newsletter section by making it easier for you to manage and edit your existing newsletters. Navigate your way to newsletters, and then edit and manage. You'll see three main columns. Now the folder column is where you select the appropriate folder. The newsletter column is where you select the newsletter by checking the checkbox. When you select a newsletter, you can manage and edit them in the third column called the Manage Newsletters column. Manage Newsletter column functions. To preview a newsletter, select it from the appropriate folder, then check it in the newsletter column. Then click on the Preview Newsletter tab under the Manage Newsletters column. A preview pop-up will appear. To open a newsletter in the editor, select the appropriate newsletter, and then click on Open in Editor. You're able to edit HTML and also edit text by choosing from the text boxes and then click on Edit. To rename a newsletter, select the newsletter, click on Rename Newsletter. Add the new name and click on the Rename button. To recreate a copy of this newsletter, click on Copy Newsletter. Make sure you want to copy selected newsletter, click on OK. A duplicate file will be produced located in the same folder as the original file. You can also move the newsletter to a folder. Select the newsletter, click on Move to Folder. You can either insert that newsletter into a new folder by creating one or selecting from the drop-down and then click on Move. To delete a newsletter, choose the newsletter or newsletters and click on the Delete icon at the top or simply click on the Delete Newsletter tab on the right. To add a folder, in the Folders column, click on the plus sign. In the third column, you're able to name your new folder and then click on Save. To rename a folder list, click on the Edit Notepad icon and rename the folder and click on Save. To add a new template, click on the appropriate folder where you'd like your new template stored. Then click on the plus sign in the second column. Then choose from one of the following, Create a new template, Import from File or Create from Blog. To edit more than one newsletter at a time, check the appropriate newsletter in the second column. I can choose as many as I like. Then choose the action from the Manage Newsletter column. I can either copy the newsletters, move to folder, or delete those newsletters. To delete a folder, simply choose the folder and click on Delete Folder. And that pretty much sums up our Edit and Manage section. Thank you.